Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's been a, a week or so. So today we're going through Cupid and the track and behind the track and how it was produced and recorded and all that lovely stuff. Yeah, I was quite scared to put this one out because it's the most stripped down song I've ever done. A lot of people really like the song Cupid, so I think it's interesting to see behind the track and how the actual track was made. I've got the track up. An acoustic track you wouldn't think has that much production, but I think there's a lot to talk about about this track and a lot that a few producery people or anybody interested in the track might find interesting. Cupid was in fact recorded on an extinct audio Black Ops ribbon microphone. So as I said, this is a ribbon microphone by extinct audio and it's just gorgeous. Like look at it. It's so sleek. But yeah, a lot of people ask about this microphone. It gives off a warm and vintage kind of sound which just worked perfectly for Cupid. Also, the sides on this microphone, so like these two bits, tend to reject sound, meaning that it was really good for recording two instruments, me singing, my dad playing guitar. So yeah, you can see this is literally all one track and all one take which I am very, very proud of. For the microphone, we plugged it into a UA6176, which helps to boost the gain and also adds compression on the way in. So that's the microphone. Now getting into the actual tracks. Not much automation going on. It's literally just that end bit, as you can see, just rolled off there. No slicing and dicing. This is literally the raw track. So firstly, as you can see on the plugins panel here, we have got Logic, EQ and this is the vintage console EQ which basically rolled off the lows a lot so without it it's very hummy and very buzzy with it it becomes more thin so there's a comparison for you secondly we added a compressor and this is also logic compressor we only added about three two to three db on with this tickled it a little bit just add that little bit of a boost. But yeah, that's the compression. And then we also added channel EQ. Just tamed some of the harsher frequencies again. It's hardly noticeable, this EQ. Just a bit of top end roll in there, but other than that, not much. So for the bus, Valhalla Vintage Verb plugin. This is so cool. This is a really good plugin if you are into reverb. The length of the reverb on this is approximately 1.8 seconds. Uh, just under two seconds is a really good sweet spot for reverb. This is the track with the reverb. Without. So there's your comparison. We also EQ'd the reverb on this, which I think is really cool. This is what they do at Abbey Road as well. Tamed some of the harsh frequencies again, but we also went into these little hummy bits. These EQs are very, very specific to the track. But yeah, this this uh, EQ'd reverb just kind of cleans up the mix a bit, and this is just, again, Logic Channel EQ. What I wanted to show you, which was really cool, is that this Valhalla reverb... Slow. So this is the track, the normal track. And then this is the reverb on its own. I think this is so cool. It literally reminds me of like Cupid being played in like a school hall. I don't know. It's just really nostalgic sounding. I don't know, I just think it sounds super cool. So yeah, sorry for me going on on a little tangent about the reverb there. So, last, but definitely not least, we have the master track. And on the master track, we have this, the waves meter, which is a waves plugin. It basically indicates if the song is outputted at the right level and ready for Spotify and iTunes and all that. And I think the sweet spot you wanna get is about around minus 14. So, which is ideal for platforms like Spotify and that, that's what they look for. It also has a limiter option here, so you can control that and, you know, trial and error to try and get that 14. Super handy and really good for you masters out there. But yeah, pretty much indicates if the song's at the right levels. Just 
just gives it another boost. But yeah, that is pretty much the track. I have definitely left a few things out because I didn't want this video to be too long and too technical because I know that that can go over some people's heads and it goes over my head a lot of the time as well. So yeah, if you have any questions or queries, please do not hesitate to leave a comment or even like DM me on Instagram or Twitter because yeah, I'm free to chat pretty much all the time. So if you have any questions about the track or any of the other tracks on my album, uh, feel free to ask and I'll try to help you in the best way I can. I hope this video has been useful in some way or another uh, for all you musical nerds. Even if you're not a musical nerd, thank you for making it this far in the video. I know that this is very, very technical stuff for a lot of people and that this is not what most people, you know, are into. I appreciate it, thank you. I do want to say thank you to Extinct Audio for featuring me and the song Cupid on their website front page. I thought that was really nice of them. So, that's been Cupid. Please leave comments, likes, shares, whatever you wish to do. You know the drill. That's all I can ask of you. I'll leave a few links down in the description to find me on all my socials and also find the album, which you can stream and buy and share and save and all that fun stuff. On a school night, just hit. 1,000 streams on Spotify, which is a huge milestone because none of my songs have ever hit 1k streams before. Yeah, thanks for watching. Father with See you love, he Bye. said I've spoken to Venus and all the gods above. They said to stay. There's so much more than just today.